Hi Skyla. Today is July 28th. 28th of July. So happy month anniversary of your birthday. Halfway there. Hopefully you, uh, you already thought about what you wanted. Ah, sorry I, I didn't record consecutively like I wanted to, but things happen. And you can say either or. I shouldn't have an excuse. I should have did it if I cared enough. And you know, life happens, and it's okay. You know what? Um, unless you committed murder or something, you, it's not something that you just you you don't need to linger on. You know, what really matters is now, and what you're doing now, and what you can do now. We all want to be the best we could be and rich but that's not what I'm talking about so make sure all your energy go towards something that that you know, that's gonna enrich in your spirit I just talked to your uncle Sonny yesterday about energy and how how we shouldn't expect what we give and um, what that conversation was about is kind of like when when you're nice to somebody, yeah, we'll be nice for them to be nice back to us. Um, you shouldn't expect them to be a certain way because once you do that, I guarantee you, you're going to be disappointed. It's just generally goes in the line of things don't go all your things don't things don't always go your way, and we have to be okay with that. And it's okay if it beats you up really bad at that time. Just make sure you pick yourself up. Well, luckily for me, I have people around me to pick me up. I fall down too. I get back up. One, because I have no choice. But why do I say I have no choice? Is because I don't want to kill the future in me before I let him grow. Who I become in the future is is determined on what I do now. And they're like, oh, I want to be a millionaire, and so I should start now. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But you definitely won't be what you want to be if you don't put any effort into it. What am I trying to say is, is we just got to learn how to live with things around us. You may or may not have the ability to influence the, your environment, but you will never master manipulate it. So you need to be okay with people having their own individual thoughts. It's okay to have a dis disagreement, but do not let it, do not let it just consume your life, consume your energy, and take all the goodness away from you. You need to be smart enough to know that you don't always you don't always act on your emotions. And I can tell you by experience, I regret it every single time that I base my actions off of my mind. temporary current emotions. Notice I said temporary. You're pissed off. You're going to get over it. And even if you don't get over it, and every time you think about it, it pisses you off. Just know that you could be using that time to enrich your spirit. Whatever that may be for you. Maybe it's just, you know, sitting down and staring at the ants walking by. Wondering what, what they're doing. Why, how their life is so simple and how you wish to be like them. 
think God gave us the gift to be conscious and, and, and have free will. Use it. I just want to talk to you and say I love you and I miss you. Danny had a horrible day today and yesterday. I made mistakes at work left and right. My boss scolded me. I hate being scolded. I'm not a perfectionist like you because you have the skills to do it. But I try to be. I try to make you proud of me. I try to make all of you proud of me. And that goes back to when I say I, didn't, I don't have a choice. When I pick myself up, when I fall, I want to be able to have my kids be proud of me, of my accomplishments. And show them that it could be done. And I'm going to let you know that you are 100 times better than me at your age. And it's possible. I guess I ended it here. Daddy loves you. Bye, baby.